Hello students, I am Mary here. Welcome to Mash Math. Today from class 9, chapter 2 polynomials, exercise 2.5, question 5 we are going to study. That is factorize. So here given to us, two sums are there. One and two sums are there. What we have to do is to factorize with a suitable identity we have to find out. So what is the uh, expansion of this identity? So you can see here x, y, x square is there, y square is there, z square is there. That means which is that identity by now you will be familiar. So in lines uh, in your textbook there are 8 identities as given to you. You have to study these identities. So if you see, so this is the identity where you have x square, y square, z square. You have rest all you see, you don't have their square. Here only x, y is there, not the z. So this is the suitable identity. In this form, the question is given to us. You see x, y, x square, y square, z square. So let's write down quickly the identity. That is, that is x, x plus y plus z whole square, which is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. So this is the form it is there. So in this form it is there given to you. Now this we have to write properly in this form and then reduce into this form. So that's what we have to do. So let's write down now x square so now 4x square is there can we reduce this 4x square can be written 2x square so we'll get 4x square because we have to reduce because when we are reducing it then we'll get into this form so now then plus now 9 can we write down 9 as 3y whole square then we'll get 9y square so same way 4 also or 16 also 4z whole square will give us 16z square. So now plus. Now before that, just I have observation. You, here you have xy then plus min, plus sign is there. Here you have yz then minus sign is there. That means here y is there but plus is there. So that means y is not negative. That means z is negative because you see here z is there negative z is there negative whereas x is here so x is positive here so it cannot be negative here and y is positive here so it cannot be negative here therefore z both the side both the place where z is there it is negative that means z is negative so we we'll write down here z negative so now let's keep up the plus sign as it is so we have written x y z square properly now we will write down now 2 as it is in the place of x. So what we have x we have 2x. Then in the place of y we will write down 3y. So now you just um, see whether it is balancing the first part or no. 2 2's are 4, 4 3's are 12 xy. So, so now next. So this part we finish. Now let's do this. So in the place of y we have 3y. In the place of z, we have minus 4z. So then you see 2 3s are 6, 6 4s are 24, negative 24. So we will get negative 24 and yz. So now let's write down plus. This part we finished, now this part. So we will write down plus, then 2 we write as it is. z value, let's write down, z is 4z. Then x is 2x. So then you see 2 4s are 8, 8 2s are 16 and negative is there. So 16 then x, z, x. So z, x we have it. So now exactly the sum this we have written exactly in this method. So now when in this method if we have written we can reduce now when full this method we have written this then we can very well write into this method so x value is 2x plus y is 3y plus z is minus 4z 
so whole square so now let's write down 2x plus 3y plus into minus minus 4z whole square so this is our answer since it is asked to factorize so you can write it down in the factor form that is 2 times you just write down because square it is 2x plus 3y minus 4z and 2x plus 3y minus 4z so that's our answer so same way we have to do the next sum also this is also you can see square is there x, y, z is there. So same identity that is x plus y plus z whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus z, uh, 2zx. So same way we have to write down let's reduce the form of this so that we get in this form properly. So x square, so x square can be write down now 2x square but since root 2 is coming here so let's write down this in that form only. Now 2 can, can be write like this root 2 and x then whole square. So what is the meaning of this when root 2 we square it then 2 will go and the square root will go. So we get 2 only. So same way if this if we write this way square for root 2 square square root will go so we will get 2 and then x square will get x square so this 2x square can be written this way now for y for y square so y square we have y square only now plus z square now z square can be also reduce this how to write then this can be written like 8 can be written like this 2 into 2 into 2 2 2 is 4 4 2 is 8 now we write down 2 as it is and then because we have to write the whole square so then root 2 then z now when we write whole square what is the meaning of that meaning of that 2 square will become 4 then root 2 square so that means square will go root 2 will go that means here already 4 we have 4 into 2 8 we will get it then z square I hope you are understanding this this meaning is 2 square will become 4 and then when the root square becomes the root will go so then 4 into 2 8 we will get then z square so this is balanced so now this also we finished so x value y value z value we have written now here you see negative sign is coming somewhere so x is here, y is here, here negative value is there. Here you see y is plus, that means y is plus. Then z is there, z also plus, y also is plus, z also is plus. That means x is the one which is carrying the negative value. So where x is there, we'll put the negative value. So now we'll continue. Now let's write down this part. 2, in the place of x, we have to write down x value. That is minus root 2x. In the place of y, y is y only plus now this 2 in the place of y we have y only in the place of z we have 2 root 2 z we have ok so this also we completed plus now this 2 we write down as it is in the place of z what we have 2 root 2 z then in the place of x what we have minus root 2 x so let's uh, just see whether it's balancing or not this we have already checked this let us check now 2 2 into minus will become minus 2 root 2 x y so you see this is balanced so now this you see 2 2's are 4 so 4 is there then root 2 root 2 is there and y z is there so that also is balanced plus so this you see minus is there that means minus is here so minus will come here then 2 2's are 4 so 2 2's are 4 then root 2 root 2 when you square it you will get 2 only so then 2 2's are 4 then 4 2's are 8 and then x is there z 
Z is there. It's supposed to be Z. Z. Because X, Y, Y, Z, Z, X. So that's up. X, Y, Y, Z, Z, X or X, Z. So then we have Z, X, we have it. So all things are now correctly it is balanced. So now we can write in this form. So now in the place of X we will write minus root 2 X plus Y form we will write Y plus Z. Z is 2 root 2 Z. So whole square. Whole square. So now since we have to write in the factor form. So let's write down minus root 2 X plus Y plus 2 root 2 Z. One factor then minus root 2 X plus Y plus 2 root 2 Z. So that's our answer. That's it. Thank you and God bless you.